Hello everybody, I'm Chris from Helloworld.com. In this demo I will create a multi-boot USB flash drive with real installations, not just ISO files. This project started with me putting Windows XP on a 64 gigabyte USB stick and I was rather disappointed with the results with how slow XP was. So I decided to add another three partitions to make this the to make this more useful. I made a video about XP on what is now the first partition of the USB drive. We'll not repeat that here, but the two important points are one Delete mounted devices from the registry to avoid confusion at the first boot whenever moving an XP installation. And two, a tweaked installation CD is needed. I created from this folder and used this CD to repair, to repair the installation that I had copied over from my PC. To make the partition more useful I added the ultimate boot CD for Windows which has many useful rescue tools and with it grab for DOS to get more generic boot menu. Let's prepare the partitions the Linux Kubuntu desktop and we are starting Gparted. Zoom in. We are going to resize and shrink and we already have Windows XP in what is now the first partition. Create the second partition for Linux Kubuntu 32-bit file system ext3. And now create the, the third partition for Android x86 and create the fourth partition for Linux Puppy. So formatting done. Back to the Kubuntu desktop. Open a terminal, part image. Let's zoom in. We are going to create a partition image of SDB3 Linux Kubuntu 32 bits. And here we go. The source and the target will have the same UUID, unique identifier, and we can't have that when booting. Now we are restoring the image to SDC2. When booting you have to hide them from each other or change the UUID of the target. Yeah, that's it. Now we're going to install the boot sector. Can boot now. BIOS, Ronish Boot Menu, tap 0 to enter, disk 1, tap F5 for disk 2. We'll hide the present partition 3 by moving the partition number to another hidden partition. F5 for the third stick and this is the USB stick. Enter the master boot record to install Runish on the USB stick and move the boot flag to partition 2. Install the advanced Runish boot manager and F2 to save and escape to exit back to the Runish boot menu. Disk 3, second partition. 
Kubuntu boot menu. Now booting. The source and the clone have the same UUID, universally unique identifier. And that would confuse the booting process. That's why I hid the source partition. Here we are. Go into update grub in the root terminal and now to partition 3. Back to the desktop. Open a terminal. Part image. This time it's Android x86 on SDB3. Same as before. And we'll now restore the image to SDC3. The source already has a Grub1 folder, but now we need a partition boot sector from a Grub prompt. The BIOS boot menu, first device the USB stick, which is required by XP, boot any, Grub for dos, and a Grub prompt. Note drive HD0 because we booted as first drive. Root command and setup command. Ready to boot. Romish boot menu. Disk 3, partition 3. Android boot menu. And it's now searching for Android x86. I have hidden the source, STB3. Booting, and I will speed things up now. Here we are. We'll open the Windows 7 partition, SDB1, on the PC, where I have all the files. Video folders. That's Android then. I have run the Linux Pup installation CD, installing to a USB flash drive. No, didn't like that. All right, I'll install to a USB hard drive instead. And I'm choosing partition SDC4. Yeah, okay. So installing. I also tried to install the grub for dos but got error message about the boot sector in SDC4. I will install Grub1, Legacy Grub, instead. Done installing. We'll exit without saving. Back to the PC, Linux, Kubuntu, File Manager and zoom in. Copy over from Android on SDC3, the Grub1 folder, to Linux Puppy on SDC4. I have also prepared a menu file and will copy that over to the Grub folder on Puppy Linux. So let's reboot. I want the Grub prompt so I have bolted the USB stick as the first drive as required by XP. And we'll now have the same procedure as for, for Android to install the grub boot sector. Root and setup. And we can now reboot. Ronish disk 3 partition 4. The puppy boot menu. Boot. And it's now copying the SFS file to ROM. This will take quite some time, so I will speed things up. Yeah, here we are. Puppy holds many useful utilities and rescue tools. The multi-boot USB stick is done now, and I will finish off by editing all four boot menus. 
the BIOS boot menu, USB stick, first device, required by XP. And the Ronish boot menu, easy to change partition. Bootini, XP. And go to Grub for those. And down here we have various generic entries. Go to Linux Puppy. I'm sorry it's a bit blurred. Kubuntu. Back to XP Boot Ini. Android. You know, we can do this forever. Boot in again, XP, and grub for those. And various generic for different hosts. That's it. Let's try a different host. Wife's laptop, Ronish boot menu. There are three NTFS partitions on the laptop, and boot partition two. Kubuntu boot menu. Angel of the North by Gomli. Kumunta is booting now. It was also possible to boot Android 86 and Linux Puppy on the laptop, but not Windows XP, which failed miserably. This takes a while. I'll speed things up a bit. Getting there. Here we are. That's all I have to show about the USB stick. The main use of this USB stick is of course rescue tools. Both UBCD for Windows and Puppy Linux contain many useful rescue tools. And I have added some other programs to this effect. I guess it was also the challenge to see if it was possible to make a multi-boot USB flash drive. Yes, it was. I hope you enjoyed this. There are more details in the written companion and a link in the description. Thank you for watching.